So these are the original points. Okay. If you see the condition over here, it hmm. is spick and span. So these these wheel weights are used to align the wheels, and these used to come only company fitted. It is very rare to find such things on a bike. Hmm. And that shows that this is a company original yeah. bike. So the points have a totally different way to work. The CDI has a totally different way to work. The CDI has maps within it, and okay. that makes the bike run accordingly. And the points are, say, the old school way of running the bike. It's as mechanical as possible. Yes. My yes, SD had points, and it ran perfectly. I, I purchased it quite some time back because I knew that someday I'll purchase someday RD. in my life I I let my dream come true. Axel, you were showing me something that makes this bike unique. Yes, I'll show that to you in a minute. This, so here, this thing first. Yes. So this, this is, this is the plate where you will actually find the chassis number hmm. and the details of the bike punched on. So if you see, this is the number. Yes. That is that is mentioned. Yes. Yeah. You see the chassis number over here. Yes. And this is the production number and this definitely adds value this this absolutely does metal plate this if you see here if you see here this is prod s no that is that means this is the production serial number okay. this bike is the 1855th bike okay. the whole of the lot okay and you mentioned this bike is a japanese model how, how did you come to that conclusion so uh, the initial initial first uh, batch of the bikes were made which were HD okay? hmm. and if you want to see I'll come I'll show it to you I'll show you something which makes the bike unique so if you okay. see over here it has the embossing it ah says, made in Japan made in Japan undoubtedly made in Japan okay yes so, so only the HD variants came uh, from Japan and the LT were from India yes that's correct okay the LT were the later versions which were uh, lower down with power Hmm. And uh, those bikes were all uh, product produced in India. Those bikes were all produced in India. Produced in India. So this is one of the rare HT models. HT means high torque. Yes, that's And right. they produced approximately 30 horsepower, 30, 31 horsepower. Yeah. And the LT model were tuned for more fuel efficiency. Obviously, this being India, and it produced around 28 horsepower. I mean, the LT models were also equally powerful. Not equally, but powerful enough. But the HT is like, as I said, the Mona Lisa of uh, RDs, in, at least in India. Cool. Uh, so uh, you were showing me the this, uh, what do you call, a point injection yes. system. So if you come over here, if you come, if you come through, I will show you this. I have removed the rest of the screws before, just to show you this. So these are the original points. Okay. If you see the condition over here, it hmm. is spick and span. Okay. The and these things being, matter. Yes, I mean, the condition of the bike may look horrible, which to a certain extent it is, understandably. But what matters is the heart. Yes, absolutely. You can, you can always repaint it, but this is something that needs to be original. First okay. off, in today's day, you will not get this setup. Okay. That is for sure. Okay. Right. And even if you get it, you will get it... Uh, at a very unrealistic price, which obviously is not going to be pocket friendly. So that's one thing. Second thing is this bike came along with it. Hmm. And uh, that's that's a very big plus point for this bike because this this shows that it is uh, totally original. I will show you one more thing. If you if you see the wheels, yes. here you will see uh, a, a weight. So these are... Uh, these are uh, I'm not sure of the material. It's 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 somewhat aluminium and something some other material mix, 
बट दीज आर यूज टू अलाइन द व्हील्स व्हील अलाइनमेंट आपने सुना होगा यस सो दीज दीज व्हील वेट्स आर यूज टू अलाइन द व्हील्स एंड दीज यूज टू कम ओनली कंपनी फिटेड एंड दीज यूज टू कम ऑन एवरी स्पोक और जस्ट वन टू स्पोक सो दीज विल कम ओनली वेयर यू विल रिक्वायर देम एंड ओनली वेयर द व्हील इज गोइंग हेवायर एंड बैलेंस ओके ओके सो यू सी द रियर व्हील आल्सो हैज वन हम and you will it is very rare to find such things on a bike hmm. and that shows that this is a company original bike i myself am seeing this for the first time okay so quite a few people if i'm not mistaken they convert the point injection into cdi yes that's so uh, do you suggest a person taking a point injection converted cdi rd350 see again uh, cdi there are a lot of uh, companies that produce uh, cdi kits for the rd hmm. however uh, very very few of them make pocket friendly ones i have i have heard about uh, the best of the best cdi conversion kits coming in for 60000 and odd 60000 60000 and odd yes and people are buying it for and this people bike people are absolutely buying it so most of the the, people, the bikes in the south are running on cdis and all in those kits the wave kit then uh, i'm 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 unaware of there are a lot of uh, expensive kits yeah very expensive kits okay and i'm and then god knows what all so basically the cdi makes it uh, to a certain extent more reliable uh see again cdi is the modern version of of uh, the, the electronic okay thing. And, modern uh, version of the point injection yeah uh, so the points have a totally different way to work the cdi has a totally different way to work the cdi has maps within it and okay. that makes the bike run accordingly and the points are say the old school way of running the bike it's as mechanical as possible yes my yes we had points and it ran perfectly yes so again now the 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 catch or to say the drawback of the points is it has to be set perfectly with a timing gun unless hmm. and until a person is well versed with the timing gun and knows how to read the timing it's not possible it's okay. a very hard and a very tedious task to get it done okay you have to find a perfect mechanic or say a perfect tuner to get it done okay okay so that is something i'm sure uh, people will have to figure out if they are taking this history I on two wheels i have to figure it out because again this is my first bike and this is your first point injection e- yes that's correct hmm. so all your yamahas that you see over here these all cdis all cdis yamahas huh. never came with points ha huh. yamahas never came with points to begin with mm-hmm. i mean this is also yamaha uh, yamaha uh, rx100 and 135 never came with points ha huh. but the rds all the rds came with points okay wait even the lt came with points yes Even the later versions came with yes, points. Right. Okay, so no Yamaha RD three fifty came with a CDI to begin uh, with. The initial, uh, or say the the last batch of uh, LTs came with TCIs with a TCI kit. What's and, a TCI? Uh, again, I I don't really know how it works. Okay. But then uh, it's an upgrade from. It's, it's just an upgrade from the point system. So okay. the TCIs were again they they used to similarly work like the CDIs. Hmm. However, uh, that was an uh, an aftermarket kit that people used to use at that time to fit okay. against the points. Okay, I get that. And um, can you talk a little about the carburetors, which obviously are not here right now? Uh-huh. So, uh, what is this uh, original stock size? So the stock size of the carburetors come as VM twenty eight twenty eight mm. Uh, the Venturi size is twenty eight mm. Okay. And those are the original uh, carburetors that come fitted with the bike. and if i'm not mistaken there are quite a few carbs that i've seen on say our whatsapp group at, itself with reference to the rx135 you have up to 36 mm as well right they go even ahead my friend okay they go even bigger so bikes that run for races and drags and all they use carbs up to literally 40 mm 40 mm absolutely okay if i'm not mistaken the pulsar 220 uh, carbureted version came with 32 mm 34 34 that was the biggest carbureted uh, bike at its time i remember that because i purchased the 220 black i'm not sure if it was the biggest carbureted version but then yes it used to use a very big carburetor ha huh, 34 mm yes that's correct i have seen bikes i have seen rds running with 38 mm flat slides oh the flat slides those carburetors are like crazy ultra crazy again those carburetors are expensive 
How you expensive probably, are they? You will probably get a pair at say about 25 to 30,000 rupees. Original car. Okay, and with reference to say the original carburetor, let's assume you got the bike without the 28 millimeter original carburetor. How expensive would it be approximately? So uh, again, if you if you go to find a good set of carbs, original RD carbs, I I really doubt you will get it for less than 10, 12,000 rupees at today's today's day's rate. Okay. Because Everything of the RD is ultra expensive. Yes. Now, if you uh, again, now I have asked, I have been asked from a lot of people whether I'll be dismantling this bike, make a block chip, I, I want this and I want that and all these things. Because none of these parts are available in the market at a friendly rate. Or sorry, a pocket friendly rate. I understand. I mean, if you just dismantle this bike, I'm sure you would be getting like 3 lakhs worth of inventory. I wouldn't even want to think about it in the first place. But just also, hypothetically. Hypothetically, also I wouldn't want to think about it. But yes, if I generally, someday if I, if, if huh. I do it, then it obviously is worth more the price than, I, than I, what I paid. So, I, if I'm not missing, I've seen a post on a uh, RX group itself, a good condition tank mm -hmm. is like around 25, 28,000 rupees. Bare minimum fifteen thousand, yes, for a for a basic condition tank. Huh, but mean, a good condition. For a really good condition tank, something like this, hmm. I'm sure someone will fetch at least twenty thousand rupees, twenty twenty five thousand rupees. Okay. I'll I'll show you something. I mean, for for a fact. See, first off, now this, if you see. One second. Let me just. And it's not working. Ah, perfect. And this, it's gone out. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. My. What happened? Just click on the this thing, man. Huh? I have done that, and yeah, now it's, and it's gone back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just put it out, put it out, put it out, and perfect. Go. So this, if you see, is the original key. Hmm. This has, if you see, if it, is, if you see, it is very clearly mentioned over here, Rajdoot. This is the original key that came from the company. Yes. And these are the other keys also that came along with the bike. So this is for the handle lock. Okay. This is from a company that's that's named as J. Okay. And J. <laughs> yeah. This this is the same. This is for the seat lock. Okay. So, this, so you got the original key set as well. Yes, my friend. This was given to me by the owner. So these small small things matter. They matter a lot. And uh, what do you plan to do with reference to the headlight? I mean, obviously, this is. I this... I have a I have an I have an uh, a a headlight kept in stock. I, I purchased it quite some time back because I knew that someday, I'll purchase someday already. in my life, I'll, I'll let my dream come true. So yeah, I would want to show you something over here. So this is absolutely functional, if you see. Hmm. This is the tank lock. So the tank lock is rusted. Yes. But if you get into the tank over here, hmm. you can see that there is very minimal rust. For a 25 year old for a bike. 38 year old bike. 38 but 25 year old uh, standing still bike. Yes. The bike was stalled since 25 years and she was standing inside a shop. So that's the, only, the good thing. That's so the good thing. Yeah, so the owner owner luckily respected the fact that he's owning an RD. Yeah. A legendary bike. Yes. And he respected that fact and he kept it inside the shop. So that matters. It was, it was absolutely safe. It didn't see the rains for 25 years. Okay. Even even now it will not. I will make sure that it doesn't see the rain. I understand. Perfect. And uh, so the headlight is done. The tank uh, will obviously be repainted from inside as well as out. Uh, yes, it will be done. However, uh, for the initial part of uh, starting the bike off, I will start her as is. And I have hmm. a 100% sure guarantee that it will start like this. Oh, this, yes, yes. there's another thing that I really liked about your bike is, are these original switches? Yes, these are original switches. So you, you see this it. on the Royal Enfield Meteor. I mean, they obviously want to um, show it as a vintage vehicle. Hence, or they want to show basically it's a classic vehicle. So the Royal Enfield Meteor also has the same switch. This is where it all started. All these switches are original. This is uh, genuine 44,000 kilometers ridden. Everything is just genuine over here. Drum brakes availability and all, we don't know, right? Hey, drum brakes are I will be switching them any which way to this. So I'll be putting a. I'll probably be putting a 220's uh, display 
an Avengers hub. Um, but why would you want to do that? Isn't it like worth more being original? See, uh, so let me be very frank. These the original drums are are good. They are they are good. They are pretty decent in breaking. Okay. Yeah. However, again, a drum break will work as a drum break. A disc break will work as a disc break. This bike that. with the power she has uh, is is very easy to you know put you into something very soon. To kill yourself. Unless and until you have the control over it. Yeah. yeah I I won't want to use that those words because obviously now since I own her, I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so yeah. But but being being very frank, she is she is powerful. She is ultra powerful. So to to control that power, we do need something that will bring her. To the table, okay. Okay. So I feel at least the front disc brake will do, hmm. and uh, a very basic and a cheap option will be the Pulsar 220s disc brake, an Avengers hub, the Pulsar forks, which will require a very mere or a very minor uh, alteration to be done hmm. to the T plate as well as the T uh, the T stem. The good thing and of the Pulsar 220 forks is it's pretty thick. Yes, those will be thick. Those will be a little heavier than the stock ones. But hmm. yes, so the power power to weight ratio will not be affected much. Okay, but again, safety comes first. Uh, so that is a priority. Yes, it does. And is there anything else that a person will have to look into if he wants to buy an RD, apart from what you just said? You have to look at your pockets for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean. This this bike is not a very pocket friendly option. I mean, again, if if someone wants to start. Or get into being a bike bike enthusiast. I will never suggest uh, a person with uh, say a very basic understanding towards uh, his monetary uh, thing to buy such a bike. Because this bike would easily consume one and a half lakh rupees to easy, very easy. Uh, to apart from the exorbitant price that obviously we can't reveal purchasing this bike, it'll take another one and a half lakh rupees on the lower side to do it up. Absolutely. So unless you have deep pockets, you know the right mechanic. Don't invest in an RD. Coming up in part three. So I'll be switching to aluminium rims. Uh, hmm. I've just put in an order with LRL Motors today. Okay. So if anyone probably wants to buy um, aluminium rims, the size hmm. is uh, two point one five by eighteen. Okay. That's the size that is uh, fitable to an R RD three fifty. So okay. They can directly buy it from LRL Motors. Okay. And, and how expensive uh, are these rims? So I have purchased a pair for uh, twelve thousand rupees. And what's the weight difference between the these steel ones and aluminium ones? There is a vast difference. Now, if if I probably want to uh, weigh these rims and the aluminium rims, there will be a, a weight difference of at least two two and a half kgs. 